Hello and welcome to Star City for ISA Web TV. I'm here in Star City next to Luca Parmitano. I guess we don't need to introduce him. So Luca, uh, tell us, what are you doing here? Well, I'm getting ready for my flight. We are, we are very close to the end of the exams. Um, right behind me, you can see the, uh, the main training system for the Soyuz uh, MS. Um, in, a, in a couple of days, uh, my crew and I will, we will be qualifying for our flight uh, using just one of those. And uh, after that, it's going to be a little bit of quarantine in Baikonur on the Cosmodrome and, and then the launch. You spend a lot of time in this little capsule and you're all uh, crapped in. I mean, it's... <laughs> well, we do spend a lot of time, but uh, it's all for good because it's, it's training and training is what make us, uh, makes us safe. Um, it certainly is cramped, it's, uh, it's an old design, it hasn't changed much since the time of Yuri Gagarin, uh, but it's very safe, it's the safest spacecraft ever designed in the past 50 years, it's worked really well. So as a matter of fact, even though uh, it may be uncomfor uncomfortable during the, the launching and the re-entry phase, it's not for a, for a very long time and I'd rather be safe. It's efficient, uh, indeed. You, you, you've, it's the second time you're training, so are there differences between Volare and beyond between your two flights? Well, everything is completely different. It couldn't be more different, as a matter of fact. The Soyuz is a different spacecraft. It's evolved from the uh, TMA-M to the MS version. It has new systems, it has uh, uh, new procedures. My crew is different, uh, but also the space station, the, the experiments that we will perform, are completely new and most of them I've never done. There will be new tasks, uh, possibly extra vehicle activities that are uh, very, very different from what I was uh, prepared for last time. But I think that in the end, the biggest difference is myself. It's been six years, I'm, uh, I've changed. I am now uh, one of the senior astronauts. I have an, ex uh, an experience behind me and I'm flying with some crew members that are on their first flight. So they look to me for uh, um, for advice, for mentorship, the same way that last time I was asking as much as I could uh, to make my experience the best possible. You'll be the commander on top of it. Um, yes, after a couple of months on the space station, I will assume the commandership of the space station in Expedition 61 for about four and a half months. And uh, it certainly is a responsibility that I feel. I will uh, do it uh, trying to stay as humble as I can and understanding that the role of the, command, the commander is not to issue commands. My crewmates don't need, my, uh, don't need me to, to tell them what to do. Uh, if anything, I am at their service and my role is to help them perform at the best of their capabilities. And the last thing, you will be flying on the, the moon landing anniversary. Quite a nice, uh, nice coincidence, no? I really like symmetries, uh, especially when they are completely coincidental. Two years ago, we were thinking uh, of a way to celebrate uh, the moon landing. So with my crew, we designed a patch that celebrated uh, the patch of the Apollo 11. And two years later, we are uh, flying on the same day of the moon landing. And I think it's, uh, it's a very sweet coincidence that we can uh, celebrate with our launch uh, that momentous event in human history. With the idea of going beyond the moon. Well, that's, an, that's the idea of, uh, of the name that I chose for my expedition. Uh, we have been um, flying around the Earth for the past 20 years with the International Space Station, uh, laying the foundation of science and technology that we need to go beyond. So my, my hope is that the legacy of this mission, but not only this mission, all the missions that we perform, is that we can build the road, pave the road for the future generation of astronauts to uh, go beyond uh, low Earth orbit and explore further and further. Well, Luca Parpintano, thank you. Of course, on the ISA TV, on ISA Web TV, we will be following you beyond on all these uh, fantastic adventures with the ISS. So stay connected. Thank you.